Hey YouTube, JT here. I initially planned to do another video, but uh, this came in today via the UPS truck. So let's take a look at it. Most of you will recognize that it's the Mark Lee Glory Knife. This knife honors the fearless actions and heroic behavior of Petty Officer Second Class Mark Allen Lee, the first Navy SEAL to be killed in Iraq since the war began in 2003. Normally I'll give you specs and stats on it. We'll take a look at it, but um, I'll put more of that uh, technical stuff in the additional info section. So it's a big blade, over 7 inches long. It has a machine G10 scales. Deep grooves. So you get a solid hold. It's a solid piece of 154 CM steel. You can see the Navy SEAL logo. Also on there is Mark A. Lee, Buds Class 251, KIA Iraq, August 2nd, 2006. On the back side, I don't know if you can make it out. That's uh, the symbol is K5 Tactical. That's from Eddie Killian, the designer of the knife. There's a lot of search and rescue, you know, repelling with the uh, state, federal, and other rescue type law enforcement agencies. So I want to talk more about what, what the knife represents. And to me, uh, it represents a piece of history. You know, this guy, you know, he gave his life for his country. He was um, part of a dedicated naval special warfare team, SEAL Team 3, fighting the insurgency in Iraq, supporting the U.S. in its efforts to bring peace and stability to the country. His valorous conduct, exemplary leadership, and extraordinary self-sacrifice for his fellow service members have earned him the highest respect and gratitude of his, of his fellow SEALs, the Navy, and our nation. And a portion of the proceeds from every knife sold will be donated to the Mark Lee Foundation. So this was in uh, Romaldi, Iraq. From what I read, he, uh, he stepped out in the open on three different occasions to lay down some uh, fire from his machine gun to help protect uh, and defend uh, his fellow comrades. And at one point, you know, he, he suffered wounds, and then you know he died in action. In uh, October. 17, 2007, uh, they uh, renovated the quarter deck of Navy amphibious base in uh, Coronado, California. And then they have a memorial for two SEALs. One is for Mark A. Lee and one is for um, Master at Arms Second Class Michael A. Mansour. So they, got these, they got these nice uh, Plexiglass um, displays, the full battle armor, weapons, helmet, and uh, special made uh, silver dog tags. And they got uh, pictures, copies of the awards and citations displayed. The second seal died in a different, uh, different incident. He uh, threw himself on a grenade to save lives. And uh, Mark A. Lee got uh, the Silver Star, I believe the Bronze Star with uh, the V for Valor and the Purple Heart for that incident, you know, posthumously. And he has a lot of other medals and awards. But, uh, 
Now this is what I mean, man. These guys are not uh, playing a sport. I mean, I know that I harp on that on my other video. Anyway. They got two of these knives. This one is just a uh, model 150 Bravo Kilo Sierra November. It's MSRP for $350. I had a 50% off gift coupon, so I got it for $175. But they also have a limited edition. And the model number is 150-1. And that's uh, $1,000. It's an all... It has a lockable presentation box and higher uh, higher end materials. So most people wonder why you know why you buying a knife. Uh, obviously, I didn't buy it because I'm not I'm most likely not going to use it. Basically, I just wanted to have it. This is one of those things. Like I said, a piece of history. You ask kids nowadays what you want to be when they grow up. I say, um, I want to be a football player, get a Nike shoe deal. I want to be a tennis star, get sponsored by, I don't know, some of that Gatorade. Gone are the days when you ask somebody what they want, and they respond with personal honor and glory for the empire. All right, guys. Watch your six. JT out.